What's good, y'all? Uh, today I'm here with a bit of a different video. This was uh, suggested to me by Bub. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this series is I'm gonna take teams that you guys can send me. Also, yeah, speaking of open invitation, I'm gonna link this down, but uh, feel free to send me teams on my smoke on page. This is where I will see them. I can take these teams and I will feature them in videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this team. It's a little outdated, maybe it's not the best. I'm gonna fix it and then we're gonna ladder with it. Um, so just looking at it first, I'll, I'll do I'll do a few versions. I'll do one where I make drastic changes and one where I don't make as drastic changes. Uh, I, I think, first of all, if we wanna just look at optimized sets, uh, the Glamour is pretty good as far as that stands, right? Um, the Terra Fairy is fine. Terra, like 99% of the time, doesn't matter. I've laddered so much with Glamour HO. I've never clicked Terra. But as a general rule, you want to just go Ghost for the Rapid Spin. Again, Fairy is also fine. Because uh, you can sometimes Terra Fairy on Scale Shock Horidon. So, the other thing I will say, it seems like Bub has some um, HPVs. I also want to note the, uh, the resources I have up right here. I have, here's the set compendiums. So it's just the sets for everything in Ubers. Here's the viability rankings. Probably not going to use these that much. Speed tiers are pretty useful though. And uh, the calc, because the calc is where we can do our calculations. So with Glamora, uh, one thing I noticed is you're going to go with usually 99% of the time, right? You want to just go timid max speed. Um, you always want to go timid max speed because if you can mud shot in the Glamora mirror uh, and they don't have mud shot, well, it doesn't matter as much, but. Uh, yeah, you can win. You can win it if you're not max speed, and they're not max speed. They're some weird bulky set, right? Uh, however, if you choose not to go max speed, say I don't know, you choose to go bold to live some Karidon rules and always kill back. You always have to go max speed because if you look at this, uh, Maridon's the number one thing that's going to try to taunt you, right? So if Maridon taunts you and it goes minus one, it hits 270 exactly. So without a boosting nature, Lamora can outspeed it by one point, but um, We'd have to stay. Let's let's try a bulky set for this video, right? For where's the team? There's a team I recently RMT that I peaked number six with. Uh, in it, I used a bulkier set. This was like min maxing the odds to always win the um, the Karidon uh, matchup turn one. But we can try a bulkier set, right? One that's not max speed, just just for the sake of this video. So let's say the thing we want to live is a scale shot Karidon five hit, right? So we'll put in our. Glamora. This is how I like to EV. Most of the time, 252, 252 with a bit of speed EVs, depending on what you're creeping, using these speed tiers is going to be the best. But since this uh, does have more specific, um, it doesn't matter. We just go scale shot. I mean, we could also calc it for Adamant. Adamant does pop up a decent amount too. I don't think it matters too much. So let's say, right, we are bold. Uh, how much defense EVs are we going to need to live that 5 hit? We are going to need... Um, how much is that? That is... We need 80 defense EVs to live it if we're pulled. So you can go 80 in here. Um, and if that's adamant, how much does that change the roll? Um, makes it a favorable roll for them to kill. Uh, how, much, how much more do we have to invest? And then how much do we need to invest to KO with Dazzling Gleam? That's my question. That's the other important thing. You always want to kill back with D-Gleam. D-Gleam needs... Um, well, let's say... I think it's 200. Ah, almost. That was close. That was close. Um, to guarantee the Oko, you need 228. But let's say you need... I don't know, how much is this? 87? What does that become? If it's a 90 roll, that like might as well. Yeah, that's like a 100% kill. So let's say, okay, 176 is the max we can dump into it anyway. So let's say this always lives uh, Jolly Karidon, and how much does it do back? 176. If this roll doesn't change, we can lower it. Yeah, see, so the roll doesn't change from here 176 to 172. So we can just go down here one, up here one. So there, we have our Glamora set. The, these these moves are pretty optimal anyway. Mudshot, Mortal Spin, Spikes, Dazzling Gleam. There is other sets, right? You can also go with Mortal Spin, Spikes, Stealth Rock, uh, Earth Power usually. That also works fine. Um, but usually Spikes is more than enough and you're gonna want the utility of Dazzling Gleam and Mudshot is a very good tool on Ubers. 
just to bring down the speed of like the super fast uh, above base 135 guys. So your own base 135 guys can win. Next we have the Zation set. Um, Terra Electric Zation is fine in my opinion. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Usually the standard is uh, close combat and no play rough actually. And the standard is fighting. I'll show you why it's fighting. It's actually fighting because... Um, or uh, It's fighting to boost close combat, but I was like, okay, what does that damage matter? If you see, after a Swords Dance with Terra fighting, it does Oko. Where is it? It Oko's Trick Room, Necrozma, Dustman. I'll just show you guys this calc. I thought it was cool. I did not know this. Oko's Necrozma, Dustman, and it Oko's um, Calyrex Ice. Uh... With a close combat, like, damn near, it's a 68.8% chance. Um, so, that's usually why you're going to want to go Terra Fighting. I have seen other sets pop up, right? Because Behemoth Blade is always their last. It's usually assumed that Karai Mirai can live one. I've seen people forego the Steel Stab and go play rough. But that's that's a lot more niche. This is, like, the dead standard. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'll try play rough. I have not tried play rough before. Um... The other thing is, uh, with the speed, you don't have to invest max speed. There's a, as Dawn says, there's a based set where you can just go 409. I think 409, because if we check the speed tiers, uh, there's nothing that you are really outspeeding by going max speed, right? Um, yeah, if you go max speed, uh, the, deoxys the deoxyses are still faster than you. And... Um, the fastest thing that you're going to have to outspeed is Iron Bundle. So you can go 409 to just barely outspeed Iron Bundle, you know, dump the rest into Spadef or something. Uh, doesn't really matter where you put the rest of it. Um, yeah. The Calyrex Ice set, this is perfectly fine. Um, I like to put these in defense because it looks nicer, but it genuinely does not matter. If you really want, there's like some sets where you can optimize it so you can always win or lose the speed ties and go like one speed IV or two speed IV, right? There's different things there. Um, then with the Arceus set, I am, this, seeing the set when Bub passed me this, this genuinely made me so mad. So the dead standard for Arceus is, um, it's 56 speed. I'll tell you why. Um, it's because if you look at this, uh, we're scrolling down for a while, eh? 289, that's the base, whatever, I don't know what Kiram's base is. It's the base of these guys, it's, it was... The Basculin Max B is good. Covered a lot of those guys, but I find this is this is dead standard, by the way. I mean, that's the rest in HP because you need some speed EVs to get taunt off. However, what I I like to run is um, enough to hit 310 because 310 speed creeps, uh, normal Dragon Dance Ground CS. It um, it's you're still pretty bulky. I think you keep like 100 something. Keep 120 HP EVs. You can get the jump off with Taunt. There's some Psychos running very fast defensive Arceuses, so you can always stop them with Will-O-Wisp. Um, personally, I think the more speed is is needed. Uh, so let's just go with that, right? Extreme Speed, Shadow Claw, Taunt, Swords Dance, that's perfectly fine. That's a perfectly normal Arceus killer set. Or sorry, E killer set. I will say, however, this could also very well be BU killer, where the only difference you'd make, because you have a Glamora, right? This team can take advantage of a BU killer because you have something to absorb those T-Spikes. So, if you wanted to as well, uh, does a lot of this team get... Yeah, actually, a lot of this team gets owned by Ho-Oh, so let's just go with that, right? So you can go with this set, but another set that also works, you just go Earthquake, Taunt, Swords... Sorry, not Swords, Taunt, Bulk Up, and then go Terra Fire. This set just fully owns any Ho-Oh. Um, kind of lets you just set up on him for free. It's pretty nice. Um, with Scale Shock Ride on... Um, Collision course is always super unoptimal. You're always going to want to go low kick or close combat. And on sets like this, you're always going to want to go um, low kick, to be completely honest. Uh, I don't like accumulating the close combat drops. You probably don't want to. The other thing is Terra Fire. Terra Fire is an awful pick. You're always going to want to go Terra Ghost. Just for that random Arceus, E-Killer, B-U-Killer, Rayquaza, you know, whatever has E-Speed in the tier. Uh, you, get to, uh, you get to boost on it. The other thing is... Um, BU Killer can mess up this team a little bit. So, you know, if you have to pop that Terra Ghost in a pinch. Uh, other than that, this set is perfectly fine. You could, you could also really go Adamant if you want. It really makes no difference if you're Adamant or Jolly here. Um, 
the only thing is you're just playing into more speed ties to be completely honest i've 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 been more adamant pilled as of lately i can't lie also this thing does so much damage adamant it's fucking disgusting um this Mirai don't set. This Mirai don't set. I don't think double dance is needed on this team. You already got enough setup, right? You got setup, 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 setup. You need some sort of pivot. You need some way, some form of your own disruption. You need a way to take advantage of this Hadron engine so that Station Crown can get those necessary Okos on Ho-Oh, -Oh, right? You need that. So I think the best set for this is honestly going to be pivot. You're going to want to go with pivot Mirai here. Um, this pivot set is super reliable. You could honestly go Terra Dragon here if you really need that boost. I always love to go Terra Fairy, because that Maridon Mirror happens more often than you think. Um, stuff like, if you really want to keep Terra Fire on Karadon, you should probably go Terra Ghost on Maridon, just so you don't hard lose to E-Killer. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty simple in terms of fixing the team. If you wanted to, you could also um, change out this Arceus E-Killer for Ground CS altogether. You could go... Arceus ground just just to give you some more leeway, you know versus Maridon you can just go dragon dance uh, It hits 307. We're gonna speed creep my own taunting set by going 311 Cause I'm smart like that. I put out an RMT and then outspeed that by one point um, Other than that, that's fine. You could also uh, Can the Calyrex get switched out? Usually on structures like this. There's a there's a sort of structure that comes with Glamora teams it's almost always Glamora, Coridon, Maridon, an Arceus that's always going to be E Killer, BU Killer, or Arceus Ground, a Steel, uh, one of the Uber Steels that's going to be Zacian or um, Charisma Duskmane, and then last, usually King Gambit. So if you wanted to on a team like this, you could replace this Calyrex honestly with like a Balloon King Gambit. Say you want King Gambit, right? Um, yeah. Probably just go uh, uh, set like that's fine, right? Probably gonna want to go air balloon to help the NDM matchup. Also gonna want to go with a um, what's his name? Resist. You're gonna want to resist Zation, honestly with that RC's ground. Uh, you can also go Terra fighting here. Usually you don't need a Terra dark boost. Sorry, Terra fighting. Oh my god. I'm gonna Terra flying. Terra flying or fairy usually always works best on a team like this. Actually, Terra fire is gonna work better. And Terra fire. Yeah, Terrifier is probably going to work best, just because. <coughs> sorry, it covers that. It covers that ho -Oh. because uh, on this team, right, you had Bu Killer to always trap that ho -Oh. Uh So let's just. Those are like some more minor adjustments you can make, or sorry, major adjustments. But I think this seems just fine. Uh, so I'll pause and then we'll get some games real quick. All right, y'all, we're back with um, another another game. Sorry, no, it's the first game. It took me like ten years to find a game bit lower on ladder so I don't know I feel like I should have taken less time um, I think they're gonna lead with their own Glamora and try to win that speed tie since I have a BU killer on my team I'm gonna keep my own Glamora I'm actually just gonna lead Maridon and Electro Drift twice I think that's my play into this always um, just to preserve that T spiky you know what I mean it's pretty hard to deny a spike, but it is not hard to deny a T-spike. So they much shot there, as predicted. And then we can slow U-turn out and go into our own Glamora. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just slow U-turn out, go into our own Glamora. We can't go into our own Glamora, actually. What am I saying? Hmm... Um, no, I think we can. Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Uh, what we can do here, I kinda wanna keep my Calyrex healthy. Um, we can, however, just go hard. Hardization is honestly fine. I don't think it's on a team like this, it's for sure not Scarf. Uh, and if it is Scarf, that's just a free spike for my own Glamora. Uh, or just set up with mine. I don't think he's Scarf. Uh, I'm gonna play rough here. 
I think they might stay in thinking Behemoth Bash doesn't kill. Yeah, see, mo most of the time we're counting on no play rough. So having that play rough occasionally can be nice. Um, they are just going to mud shot here. So what I'll do is I'll wall charge here first for chip on their mud shot. And then they'll probably go out for a T-spike or something. Yeah, so we can just go absorb that with our own Glamora, and we'll just throw out our own Mud Shot. Although they do win this B-Tie, we know that because we're not timid. Um, I mean, it sounds stupid, but there's just always a chance to win that speed tie right? They should go for the spike here. Okay, nice. They just go for their own rocks. So then I can always just Mud Shot here. They do not kill me back. Keeping those rocks up is honestly more or less fine. What we don't want to do, however, is let them... Okay, so they're a life orb. Uh, that's good to know. We can go into Zation and just click. I'm going to click play rough. Okay, I was going to try to try hard that and click close combat or something, and I'm really happy I didn't. Um... On this guy, he's just going to go Trick Room. Okay, or Swords Dance. Uh, I'm going to bulk up on you. Because you don't do enough to me. Okay, you really don't do enough to me. Uh, he's Offensive Trick Room, so how much does that do? He's doing... 50 right now and if okay I think we gotta bulk up again I think we live too if I bulk up mm. I might wanna EQ here actually I'm gonna EQ I think EQing right here is my only chance of uh it does proc their weakness oh or we just are they... Hold up. Did that... We So we did 80. Yeah, that crit did matter. Um, my bad, teehee. Uh, this is a... Oh, like a crazy roll to kill. They have to get some crazy roll. Okay, no, they just Swords Dance. Uh, which is a sell. As they can tell. I think they maybe thought... I don't know. I don't have extreme speed. That was a bit of a lucky crit. But I think we just stole out some Trick Room team turns. And then we just win with our own Calyrex. Um... Because we throw too much at theirs. Uh, yeah, that's a good first one. I'll pause till we get the next one. All right, y'all. We got another game. And I wanted to load this other team. Just to show how, like, priority is really important for this team. And what not. Um, to this team. I'm going to leave Glamora for pretty free, to be completely honest. Just get up a mud shot. And we can T spike you for pretty free. That free ass T spiky. Or sorry, not T spiky. Oh my god, what am I saying? I meant mud shot. I meant mud shot. I'm a little lost, if y'all can't tell. I'm a little lost in this life. So that is extraordinarily bulky. That is incredibly bulky. That is a bulky guy. That's a that's a thick boy, boy. Um so they just stay in and sack it for absolutely no reason. Uh, probably, I don't know, I don't know, I can't tell you. I can't tell you why they sacked it, but we're just gonna stay there and we're gonna, we can tear right here, but it won't make a big difference because we have a King Gambit on a balloon. They live on one, that's fine. Um, Cause I have kid named Zation. And then we just scale shot. Um, so from here, they can go Cali, right? Do whatever they want. Um, I, however, will sword stance in their face disrespectfully. Um, okay, nice. It actually, we just have to scale shot a second time. Okay, thank God. I almost, almost clicked low kick there, but I'm, I'm, I'm the goat, simply put. 
Well, like Skillshot Karano's ago, this guy hits 1k attack at plus 2. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, we forced out there Terra. Not much I can say in commentating this match. It's truly the match of all time. Okay, they brought out the one guy that like actually kind of loses to me. Um, I like that, that electric seed for no reason. Very incredible tech. And then they get low kicked. Um, yeah, that is that is HO, that is Glamora. See that one T spike, that one spiky put in crazy work. We can get one more. Um, and we can end it there. I wanna I wanna display the power of Arc Ground and King Gambit, and I've also never tried that core before. All right, we actually quickly queued the next one, so um, this seems a little weird. Bu Killer would have been great for this game because we just win off of matchup. Uh, but that T Spike is still gonna put in incredible amounts of work. They are always gonna lead Maridon, probably gonna taunt me. But you know what I say to that? I tell the haters, no. There's no taunting me. I am going to then. They're just gonna U-turn, right? Please U-turn, please. I think, I think, I think I D-Gleam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They drift, D-Gleam. Just in case a random U-turn, I'm gonna mortal spin here. Or a uh, random switch to, I don't know. Arceus, Coridon, whatever they wanna go into. They're not going to like eating this poison. So we do get nothing out of this Glamora, but trading a whole Maridon for a Glamora, dude, this is incredible. It's in Sucker Punch range. It's an okay, that is a crazy hard switch, fuck's sake. Uh, they do have to attack me now, though, so I do end up getting on my T-Spike, uh, which hits Coridon, hits Arceus most likely. That's that's hitting a lot of the team. I'm not complaining. Know what I'm saying? No, I'm not complaining. Um... Hmm. From here though, that that Karadon could be Scarf or it could be Scale Shot. I'm not sure with a team like this. They got a bit of a a weirder structure, but not really a structure. You know, they threw in a random ho -Oh in the mix instead of an actual lead. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, let's see what they they just click play rough. That's fine. They end up giving me that T spike for free. You know what? I'll take it. Arceus ground lives one of whatever. So we can Dragon Dance here for pretty free. Um, if they choose to go hard Coridon, I don't know if they live two turns of Spike T Spike. Uh, Terra Steel also, I mean Terra Ground is usually nice, right? Because at plus one Terra Ground Oko's Coridon, a lot of other stuff. But Terra Steel is nice. E Speed Resist, uh, Zation Resist, damn a fucking Calyrex Resist. Here's my question though, if we go plus one again, does that do anything for us? Actually, he's out of terrain, I'm going plus one again. He can Draco for like 0%. He just opts to Dragon Pulse there for absolutely nothing. So then I EQ, I'm at plus two, plus two. If they go Ho-Oh, I'm like almost sure they're gonna Terra, so I kinda wanna click Earthquake on it. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing loves eating this. I'm clicking Earthquake on you, I don't care. Oh my God. You know, in some places, they call me the GOAT. In other places, they call me the GOAT. But it's it's unanimous all around the world that I'm the GOAT. I'm just joking. Um, was that a roll to kill? Hold up, hold up. I, I want to see. No, that was not a roll to kill. But we do end up getting rid of their ho -Oh. We end up getting rid of their terrain. We got rid of a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to go into this RC as they probably go Calyrex, and I'm going to taunt them. Um, actually, no, taunts them this way. Uh, I could just attack for chip, and then like can game it revenge, and then probably get another kill. Uh, I could do a few things. Although I do kind of want to save King Gambit HP, just for oh my god, he's not boots. I am terrified. Could be life orb to be honest. I don't know. I'm gonna taunt though. If they're mental herb, GG. If they are mental herb, G freaking G. Okay, they just attack. 
they just attack, which is which is fine, which is fine, you know. I'm not happy about it. Um, kind of want to save my Zacian HP. Uh, also want to save the Maridon Terra, if I'm being completely honest, just in case that is a Scarf Coridon. Um, so I'm just going to go into you. I'm going to eye head, you know, maybe we can get that flinch. Um, you know, they are still taunted. So let's see what they choose to do. That earthquake chip would have been right, nice right about now, but I don't think it made a huge difference in the end. We denied them trick room. Oh my fucking god, he's weakness policy. Never mind, I'm the goat. Never mind, I'm the goat. Never mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Weakness policy Calyrex is just simply disgusting. Uh, that might be just the greediest thing I've seen all year, actually. Uh, but it, it definitely is something, you know. It's, it's it's something that exists, if you know what I'm saying. Um, their Coridon comes out. See, now, I'm just worried if this thing is Scarf or not. So, um, I'm going to go Hard Station. 73%. Low kick. I just need to check if it's Scarf. Okay, so it is Scarf, so that is fine. Um... Because what that means is I'm going to go Okay, here's the play. I'm going to Flare Blitz here as he goes Hard Coridon or Hard Zation. No, never mind. Um, they just don't care. They just don't care. That's cool. We're going to have to Terra here. Um, we get one more kill. Uh, doesn't matter actually where they go. Because if they go E-Killer, they get two-shot by low kick. And if they go Zacian, yeah, they do end up trading my Coridon. I think the right play for them is to go Zacian and then switch to E-Killer. But they all have also exhausted the boost, so Maridon lives one of whatever. And if I go into King Gambit, I can, um, I can bait the drop. Um... Hmm. Going to you, I'm just gonna attack, honestly. You can probably taunt on me, I don't care for that much. Uh, I also, okay. It's a good thing I attacked there. I'm gonna sword dance here, actually. So that I can... Make zero dip. Mm, they're probably gonna recover here again, right? If I recover, what are they then? Okay, if he is Earthquake, right? If he is Earthquake, it does nothing. Okay, nice. Yeah, we're still fine. Uh, I just have to attack into the Zacian. I can't sack it. But Mirai should win from here. Should, should, should win. Um, if he wants to Sword Zance here, be my guest. But after that drop... And even if he is play rough, I don't think it kills. Oh my god. Okay, chat. I lied. I'm bad. But, um... Yeah, you get the idea. I'm still ass at this game, but I think I built the team to be a little better. I'm sorry, I'm off right now. I'm so, so exhausted. I have so much shit going on this week. But anyway, that's, that's, that's gonna be the whole vid. Um... Teams will be linked on my Discord if I actually remember to do that. And if you guys, as I already mentioned, if you want to see more shit like this, please... Oh, never mind. Please put it on my Smogon wall. It's going to be the first link in the description. So check that shit out. Yep, yeah, and peace.